Silent Voices is an exhibition by Chamberlain Ukenedo who welcomes his guests to the Quintessence Gallery in a unique way. Take a look. Follow the petals. Where do they lead? They usher the art lover into the Quintessence Gallery in Lagos. and stop at I Rise, I Shine, a 36 by 48 mixed media painting done by Chamberlain Ukenedo, which is one of the many other works of art seen in this hall. In this show, this artist looks at the unsaid, what people convey through their expressions instead of making a meal about it with words. It's a mixed media art exhibition of various media from coffee, pastel, acrylic, and um, oil. Um, silent voices, I ask myself, how again can I tell the story of my country, my environment? Now, silent voices speaks for the marginalized, and also captures the mood and expression of the everyday Nigerian. I walk on the streets, I see faces, and on every face I see a canvas, I see situations, and I see a country where you have a whole lot of activities happening. works mostly on pastel and mixed media I work, I work with fine objects I don't commit myself to a particular surface and that's why you see um, some of the materials I created I had I made I made with coffee and um, and, and found objects like um, also mixed media tape old classic tapes so I would say a particular surface is a comfort place for me, so I, I find every surface as an experiment that I need to explore. And he focuses on individuals in his painting. Silent Voices also in one of the works expresses the body language of, a, of Nigeria as a country. The one, the one of the works where you see petals uh, is an installation. And um, what I try to express in that communication is the emergence of a new entrepreneurs, like an evolution of new entrepreneurs in a country that is diversifying from oil and discovering new ways of doing things or new ways of survival, you find out that different professions are springing up. People are coming up with different ideas. Before, we never have makeover artists or people who sit by weekends and begin to make gilly for wedding and all those things. And some of that um, um, professions that are coming up, why I created that, material, that art piece is the fact that if we don't diversify as a nation, then we may probably have to run into serious issues. The features in most of his pieces are exaggerated, depending on the message they are trying to convey. For instance, in All Eyes on Me, a lady is striking a pose with her hands on her chin, while in Will You Marry Me, the eyes are a bit subdued, the mouth pensive, and the hands folded together like someone who is expectant. The twist here is that it's the lady who has the question on her mind for the words can't come out because she's not expected to do the asking. Those are the things this artist is trying to unravel. Sometimes people have a lot to say, but words fail them. But the artist tries to encourage people to read between the lines, as not everyone can say the words, and it may not be their fault. I would say my inspiration comes from God. And then secondly, um, I had family members and friends who also pushed me to the, to, to the limits. Uh, I wouldn't say I procrastinate a lot, but it's something I've been doing over time. And um, in the last few months, I've been able to say, okay, whatever I need to achieve, I need to just target it and hit it once. So my inspiration comes from God and people around me, plus my environment. He 
he's doing something new. In the sense that I used to know what he he, he does. When we were in school, he does a lot of uh, comics, cartoons, and all that. But now he's getting to miss media and all kinds of things here, and uh, I'm really impressed. Eh? Don't come out or can't come out. That's the case in Save Me and I Am Fine. Two different paintings with shades of blue and green. The blue painting reveals a gloomy picture, while the green is showing someone who wants everything to be fine, but she's far from fine as the tears flow down her cheeks. Bringing in all these emotions is Chamberlain's way of adding spice to the Shakespearean theory that one cannot tell the art's construction on the face. <laughs> Society should learn to listen more and stop loving the sound of their own voices. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. Next week on Art House. It's celebration galore for the Society of Nigerian Artists and other art lovers as they head to the resource place where veteran artist Timothy Fasui turned 82. The beauty about this exhibition is that he's still painting his heart out. So all these works, 82 of them, which have been displayed, were done recently by this veteran artist. The idea is that I'm celebrating my body and I don't want to go anywhere other than that. So I'm exhibiting artworks. So you won't want to miss next week's edition of the program. So you won't want to miss next week's episode of Art House because we'll be showcasing the works of art by Timothy Fasui, a veteran artist who is an inspiration to a lot of young hands. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Thank you so much for watching. And always remember that the conversation continues online on any of our platforms. Mm -hmm.